What's up, strugglers? So we're going. <laughs> so today we're gonna take a look at a show. Um, it's called Take Me Out. I don't wanna get this wrong, but I also don't wanna look it up. So I'm just gonna say what I think. I think it originated in the UK. That was the original version, but there are a lot of versions of it. There was a South African version, an Irish version. Of course, the US had to jump on that. And the US one is the one we're gonna look at because those are the ones that have full episodes on YouTube. So <laughs> it was hosted by George Lopez. And the premise of the show was that a guy would come out and 30 women would be on stage with like a, a, a America's Got Talent type buzzer. Okay. And then they would show videos of the guy of him like doing his hobbies, telling kind of quirks about himself. And if the women didn't like what they heard or what they saw, they would hit the buzzer and they would they would be out then. I think the only way to really continue is to just watch some episodes. When they first come out, they do like an initial impressions thing, literally just based off their looks. And, okay. and a bunch of women buzzed out when he came out, which is not a good way to start. I think he lost like 15 people or something. Remember, if you're not turned on, turn up! <laughs> Oh, I'm fun, outgoing, extroverted. I bring the Jersey Shore to the Vegas desert, I like to tell people. I think I'm a great catch. I got my own car. Do you like that license plate, by the way? The sizzle. <laughs> Girls can't see you if you go fast. Girls can't see you if you go fast. So wait, is that That's... saying to go slow? Yeah, usually the stereotype is like, girls like fast cars, rock and roll, you know? Yeah. But he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> We're no, going on a Sunday Slow cruise. and steady. That's right, the sizzle drive slow. Good afternoon, I'm Eric Cuomo. My degree is broadcast journalism at UNLV. Journalism and reporting. Oh yeah, he's a weather guy. He's on the TV, sure. the cold front's coming, he's like. <laughs> Yeah. It's gonna warm up. It's gonna be wet on the East Coast, oh, if you no. know what I mean. No. I'm a party boy, Travolta, a little bit of Elvis, wrapped into one hot sex pocket. So at this point, are there only two girls left? Oh yeah, there's just this lady right here in blue and this lady in pink. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think they do three rounds, and if you have dates left at the end of the three rounds, then you get to pick. Okay. But this is literally round one. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not lost. doing so hot. He's lost almost everybody already. He's very unfortunate. One hot sex pocket. I want to know that I can commit long term, but I do have a lot of deal breakers because I've ran into some booby traps. No kids, because I'm not a daycare. Hippies, vegan. If you play World of Warcraft, you have to be hot. This guy's all over the dang place. Yeah. He <laughs> vegan. World of Warcraft player. If you have any interest whatsoever, <laughs> he's right. like, no, nope, get That's out. Right. All right, one light is still on, one ray of hope. You know, I think he's petite, but good things come in small packages, and I see those shoes, they're pretty big, and you know what they say about guys yeah. with big feet. Do you think she's really into him, or she just was like, oh, I'm the only one left, I'll get a chance to be the center of attention on TV for a minute? I think that's 100% yeah. what happened there. Eric is gonna try to wow you with his amazing talents. You go out to Love Lift and get ready. Give it up for her. It's a little talent show. A little bit of talent show. He's peacocking a little bit. Okay, what do you think he's gonna do? What do you think is, do you have any idea? I think he's gonna try break dancing. Okay, that's actually a really good guess. <laughs> Not even good though. Like no, he's like no, trying he's, to be sexy and he's dance. trying he's to be good. Magic Mike and it's right. not it's not working. Oh, man. Well no, and also the socks. He got a little too drunk at the Christmas party and he's <laughs> he's being weird. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no. Tragic. Midsummer salt. He got oh, freaking X midsummer salt. Poor guy. Don't do it. Oh frick. Don't do it. Oh, God. Don't do it. I'm gonna whack my legs yeah, on the lava lamp. Do a body roll. There you go. Oh, Oh my god! Woo! It wasn't really scary. That was very impressive. Thank you. He wasn't like a stereotypical dreamboat type of thing, right? Is that is that fair to say? Yeah, he's just kind of an average Joe. Yeah, he kind of gave off a little bit of that, like there's something about him you just don't quite trust. Yeah. Well, this next guy, um, is I, the complete opposite. Like total opposite of that. Well, I'll just let well, so we'll, we'll you. See it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next guy is me. We'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> Am I wearing this wrong? <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing it too high. 
How do you put this on? You wearing it backwards. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> like, did the guy at Boot Barn teach the guy you nothing? Boot Barn didn't teach. He didn't teach me right. Here we go. Man, yeah. Howdy, ladies. You look like rootin' tootin' cowboy. I'm the most rootin'est tootin'est cowboy in the wild wild west. He only got five buzzes out, so he had a good oh. first impression. I mean, look at him. He's a handsome cowboy. What yeah. is that? He's a he's just a sweet southern boy. I love cowboys, and he said he's a real cowboy. So I'm assuming that he loves horses and he knows how to ride a horse. Yes, ma'am. Isn't riding a horse like really easy? You just start sitting there, right? Yeah. She's alluding to sex. She um, wants her sex. It's like literally this is what the sex would be like if he was gonna ride her like a horse. <laughs> it would just be like this. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think you could have. <laughs> Ladies, you deserve better sex than this, okay? City life ain't for me. I like the country lifestyle. <laughs> And yes, ma'am, I'm a cowboy. Ladies, a cowboy never takes his hat off, except for one thing. But While he rides the horse? The cowboy hat comes off. <laughs> I could think of a number of things you wouldn't want to do in a cowboy hat. Like what? Shower, sleep, uh, mainly those. <laughs> Cowboys know how to talk to ladies. We say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, beg your pardon. We say, come on over here, we <laughs> I got everything a cowboy needs. Great job. Good house, good pickup truck. I just need a lady to ride with me. So they many hated people that. went out. They freaking hated that. They're like, this guy has a house. That's Yark. because he's too stereotypical cowboy. He is. See. Yeah, the only thing he didn't have was a dang Bud Light and the blue jeans, man. He's probably gonna what. get to that. He's like, my favorite drink is a Bud. Ladies, if he ain't right, turn out your light. Here's Buck and Bronco Jesse. Yeah. Oh. I don't mean to diminish what he just did. I've seen like wasted people at bars ride <laughs> way, better. way better than that. He was on like speed two. That was a gentle ride. It was a gentle ride. He was like de sizzle on that one. <laughs> he went slow and steady. Slow and steady, <laughs> real Sunday drive. When there's two people left, he gets to ask them one question and then they get to answer. Uh, and then he yeah. apparently, you know, he'll pick based on that. But. Okay. Okay. Every weekend I take the bull by the horns. How would you take this bull by the horns? Okay. You know, Jesse, I'd climb up on top of the bull with you, put your arms around me, give you a sweet kiss on the cheek, and we'd ride off into the sunset. All right. <laughs> on a bull. Yeah, they'd ride. <laughs> Riding off into the sunset. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, that's quite interesting because I wouldn't take the bull by the horns. I would take you by your arms and wrap them around me and give you a hug and a kiss and we would go out and have a picnic. So. Okay. <sighs> she fumbled. She yeah, fumbled it there. She fumbled it hard. She was go going so picnic. strong. Oh, yeah, she was so strong the whole time and that she just freaking blew it at the, at the end there. Now go turn one off and take one out. Oh, no. You coward. You absolute fool. I wonder what he said to her. You want me to ride you like a horse? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. It's tough to be that. Because yeah. the whole time she was like, obviously, she was putting it out there. She's like, I'm into this guy. Yeah. From the beginning. And then he's just, just to come up at the end and, and turn her down like that. That's rough. Yeah. We got through one of each. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look at my hair. Let's do this guy. This guy, he got through the first impressions with only one person buzzing out. If you're not feeling right, turn out your light. I've been working in the family construction business since I've been 12 years old. Oh. Okay, right on. Very so cool. So he's handy. Yeah, he's good with his hands. I'm sure they're going to allude to something yeah. like that later on. He can drill real yeah. good. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, something like that. I also teach Zumba with my mother. We're very, very close. So close that she lives right next door to me. He doesn't always yeah. make the best decision oh, when it comes to women in his life, which is why I enjoy living next door to him. Holy wow, that's like a lot more people than I expected. Oh, see, I expected more. Really? Yeah. They were like all in on this guy. They, they were like, there's no flaws. This, he's, yeah. a perfect, he's a perfect specimen. And then he's like, I live next door to my mom. Freaking half of the people drop out. I'm a romantic guy that loves to give roses and take care of my lady. But I need a woman to wow me. I have the it factor and she needs to have it too. If I do say so myself. The arrogance. Yeah, a that's, little bit arrogant. That's what killed him there. He's still got a lot of people in though. Girls, if you're not turned on, turn off! 
If you want to be my woman, there's one thing you have to know about me. Bad gambling addiction? Yeah, I was Looks gonna like he's say. in a casino. <laughs> you have to have your own set of wheels. Because I love to ride. <laughs> yeah. I was yes. actually gonna say some like weird roller ring. Good for him. That's Wait, cool. did he lose someone from that? Because I love to ride. <laughs> She buzzed out because he likes to roller skate. She's like, nerd, pass on that. <laughs> what the heck? It's pretty cool. And you'll love it. So you need to have your own set. Well, why are they leaving? That's so cool. I'm at a loss for words at why people are dropping out because of that. Keep on doing you. Yeah, you go, you roll, you dude, ro roller rink until the day you die. Come ride with me, baby. Three lights are on! He's literally left with three people. Well, hey, those are three quality candidates then. I know what's happened in my past. Tell me what's happened in yours and why you're here. Mm -hmm. I just, I care too much, you know? Yeah. I love too hard. Well, first off, I'm a workaholic. Um, and some men don't like that I'm so independent. So hopefully you can handle this piece of chocolate meat. Oh. Chocolate meat. <laughs> she should have said like, handle this milky way. Yeah, that's a little more sexy. Yeah. Chocolate meat? Chocolate meat. Anna! I just haven't found someone that can keep up with me. Someone who can get down and dirty. Okay. <laughs> I'm falling behind. What do I do? I want to have sex with you so bad. Chocolate meat. Chocolate meat, yeah. Yeah, he'd rather have chocolate meat than someone who's actually scary in the bedroom. <laughs> I wanted to do one more. I want to show you a clip from the Irish, the Irish version because the energy is just a lot different on it. And okay. I, I, you know, I've got a little Irish in my blood. These are my people, you know, I can relate to this. <laughs> Bring on the boy! I feel like I'm at a magic mic show and uh -huh. he's like coming out. That's right. They're gonna put the caution wet floor signs out pretty Ew. soon, baby. Let's see. <laughs> he looks so nervous. He looks to me like Matthew Perry in 17 again. Yeah. You're very welcome to the show. Take it away. Hello girls, my name is Niall and I'm from Limerick County. <laughs> Niall from Limerick County. You know how many times I've tried to get on shows? Yeah. I've tried to like get on game shows and they're like, they're like, nah, nah, we're not feeling you. But this guy, he's got, he's the, he got the it factor. The last guy thought he had the it factor. By the way, Jeff Probst, come on, stop playing around. Put me on Survivor, let's go. But ladies, the question is, are you turned on or turned off? <laughs> Devastating. It's not that bad. It's actually only 50 50. 15 lights off, 15 lights remaining. You happy? Very happy, yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. about him is just screaming very happy. Right yeah. <laughs> thrilled with that. Absolutely thrilled. It's great. This has been really, very good, very good start. How was that accent? Did you like that? Yeah, First time I've ever tried the Irish accent. Really? Wow. Right. Um, we talked to Nile about everything because, to be honest, it's just. Been so used to being with girls all the time, we kind of forget sometimes that he's actually male. He's a breadhead. You can't keep a slice of bread in the house. He's a slice of bread? Is that what they just said? I think she just called him a slice of bread. He's a breadhead. That's or not you, a you good couldn't thing. keep a slice of bread around in the house? Oh, because he would eat the bread. Because he's a little glutton? <laughs> That's not a good thing either. They're, they're like throwing him under he's the bus. Glutton for punishment. Actually, when I was young, he used to bring bread to bed. I put it under his pillow for the middle of the night if he got hungry. Ah, that's my kind of guy. That's actually a baller move. I know, I was just gonna say, that's a good idea. I might start doing that. This is a nice cozy Yeah, it'll be nice and warm. The then keep a little pat of butter <laughs> on your nightstand. Get rid of the pillow. You don't even need the pillow. Just put a yeah. whole loaf of bread. Just sleep just on sleep it. Just sleep on the bread, dude. I'm so sorry. I was cute and it progressively got worse. Now you were adorable. I'm not too sure about your family. They really hung you out to dry there. Three women, what can you expect? I mean, exactly. <laughs> oh, jeez. Women, right, am I right? <laughs> He's like in front of a panel of women. Yeah, all women, <laughs> yeah, solid move. Like women suck, am I right, ladies? Maybe he didn't 
choose the best song. It's a weird song choice. He'd be a stellar to bring to the bar because you know that he'd be up there doing karaoke. Oh, yeah. Get a couple of Guinnesses in him, and he just really lets it fly. I mean, he really really comes into his own when he gets the Guinness down. That, I'm getting a little better at it, aren't I? You're getting wow. really good at it. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. You should cool. probably do some voice acting. Maybe I should. Right on, and I went to bed. I stuck a woven 44 beneath my head. He stuck a piece of bread underneath his head. Yeah, I was waiting for him to say that, actually, (laughs) but no, he stuck a gun under there instead. So yes, my name is Willie Lee. (laughs) They cut him off like Simon (laughs) Cowell. They're like, you have to stop. We only have two left. Please. (laughs) That is why. They're like, dude, just cut your losses. Stop right now. They're dropping like flies. You have one question to find out all you can about our lovely ladies, Prisha and Louise. And depending on how they answer that question, you will have to decide who you're gonna leave here and who you're gonna take out tonight. Niall, best yep. of luck, sir, and away you go. What's he gonna ask? <sighs> What's your favorite kind of bread? <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a terrible fear of flying, but I overcame it. What is your greatest fears? I think my fear would be that I'm not walking down that ramp with you tonight. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I probably would have said spiders. She rubbed my line. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been my biggest fear, but uh, besides that, tripping down those stairs is one of the big ones too. Tripping down those stairs. All right, okay. Get out there and turn one off and take one out. Away you go, Nan. Who should he go for? Who's he gonna pick? Huh? Who's he gonna pick? Blondie. Yeah. Okay. Well, good for them. Uh, I hope they're happy. Yeah, I hope they're happy. I hope they're Mm. having a great time. That's about it. How do we close? How do we close? What do we do? How do we close it out? So I'm I'm Scott. I'm from North Dakota. You know, I'm I'm a YouTuber. I never learned how to skateboard. I wish I had. Probably my biggest flaw is that I've never done anything wrong, and that scares me. Also, when I eat chicken wings, I eat like the cartilage off of the bone. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Anywho, that's all we got. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again very soon. Shout out patrons, they're over there. I think I'm gonna do a somersault, close it out. So, goodbye. Bye.